afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Thursday, May 16th. I'm Tripp, and this is Jackie. Thanks for joining us today. Tiger Vision Thursdays are the days we show videos about different colleges or careers. Today we're going to air a video that explains more about one of the fastest growing jobs in the American workforce. That job is a mechanical engineer. Here's more from CareerBuilder.com. Career Builder and the Economic Modeling Specialist International recently identified the fastest growing jobs in today's workforce for people with bachelor's degrees. Since 2010, the demand for professionals in these positions has steadily risen, along with the number of available new jobs. What does that mean for job seekers? Those who have or are willing to learn the skills needed for these positions will have their fair share of opportunities available for years to come. Let's take a closer look at one of the top jobs, Mechanical Engineer. So what exactly does a mechanical engineer do? Mechanical engineering is one of the broadest engineering disciplines. Mechanical engineers design, develop, build, and test mechanical devices, including tools, engines, and machines. Mechanical engineers are highly skilled individuals and are in high demand. The number of positions for these roles in the U.S. has grown 6% since 2010. That's significant growth in just a few years. And right now, there are 19 active candidates for every 100 jobs posted for this position. If you're looking for jobs as a mechanical engineer, you'll find even more opportunities by searching for alternate job titles that are closely related to this job. While the duties or skills needed may vary slightly, check out jobs listed for aerospace engineer, chemical engineer, or materials engineer. Now let's take a look at the top skills and traits needed by mechanical engineers. While most people in this profession have a bachelor's degree, the educational levels for this role vary. Many mechanical engineers have pursued secondary education courses in areas such as, you guessed it, mechanical engineering. Another common field is electromechanical engineering. So now that you know what you're up against and how to prepare for this job, let's talk location. Check out the cities where demand for mechanical engineers is highest. But what does it pay, you ask? The median annual national salary for mechanical engineers across all experience levels is $79,500. According to U.S. News and World Report, the top 10 colleges in offering degrees in mechanical engineering are number one, the Massachusetts Indi Institute of Technology, number two, the University of California at Berkeley, number three, the Georgia Institute of Technology, number four, the University of Michigan, number five, the University of Illinois, number six, Stanford University, number seven, Purdue University, number eight, the University of Texas, number nine, California Institute of Technology, and finish it off with number 10, Cornell University. If any of you think you might like to look into being a mechanical engineer, contact one of these colleges to get more information about their programs. We'll be right back after this. Hey. Hey, hey this is Butler coming to you live from the roof. I got all kinds of stuff up here. Turkeys, printers, balls, Books, all kinds of stuff. I'm here to answer one question. What question is that? Does it bounce? Does it bounce? Hey, teach me how to do it. Hey. They be like, smooth. What? Can you teach me how to do it? You know why? Cause all the girls love me. Hey. All I need is a beat that's super bumping. And for you, you, you. No. Yes. Two feet. Welcome back to Tiger Vision News. If you want to play bat blast ball next week, sign up by Mr. Evans' door and Miss Kudo's store. It costs three bucks to play and there can be a total of 10 per team. This evening is FMS Day at the McDonald's on 82nd and Slide. All sorts of people from school will be there and it's a great opportunity to help raise money for our school. Well, remember, the Spirit Day is only at the 82nd and Slide location. You must eat there between 8 and 5 p.m. in order for our school to benefit from your purchase. We'll see you there. Turn into other news, all 7th graders running for Stuco office must have their applications and speeches turned before they leave school tomorrow. Drop them off with Ms. Ammons in the library. Practice for the upcoming elections will take place May 21st and 22nd during Tiger Time in the auditorium. Anyone running for office must attend. The election will take place the 23rd of May during Tiger Time. Each candidate is required to deliver a two-minute speech at the assembly right before we vote. 
Good luck to everyone running for office. That's all the announcements we have today. Let's check in with our weather forecast. Hi guys, I'm Cobra with the Is Weather. Here's our current conditions. 82 degrees, sunny, winds to the northwest at 11 miles an hour, and no precipitation. Here's our five day forecast. We have extremely warm temperatures this weekend and a small chance of rain on Saturday. I'm Kobe with your weather. Back to you. Now let's take a look at sports. Good afternoon, Tigers. I'm Zach, and this is Kobe, and here's a look at today's sports. Physicals for next year's athletes are coming next week. Tuesday is the day doctors will be here for the health checkups. If you want to have your physical done here at FMS, it'll cost you $15. If not, you can get your own by your doctor. Anyone playing sports next year must have a physical. That's a look at today's sports. Back to you. That's it for today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision.